What's up all you builder of figures, dudes, and you dads, Toy Shiz here, and I got a really quick, well, it's gonna be a, a, about a 16 minute video, but you're gonna sit back, you're gonna relax, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure you will. This is my top eight build of figures because, well, there was only eight in all of 2018, and you know what, we're gonna look at all of them, and we're gonna stack them up because, you know what, we can't do five, we can't do three, we gotta do all eight. And it's actually going to be kind of fun because there's some really, really not so good ones and there's some really, really awesome ones. So, we're going to take a look. Eight, two, one. Let's do this. Here we go. You know, to be honest, I've been waiting to use that sound clip or something. And this Build-A-Figure definitely says it all just with the booing. This thing... And I don't like to rag on figures because that's just not my, my deal here. But this guy's pretty bad. And it's not really Hasbro's fault in that sense because they do get early concept art. However, I don't really know what the execution or strategy was for this. It's a muddled mess of a figure, especially in the face. I just, I think they could have done something better. They could have taken the concept art and done something better. The only thing I do like is the Infinity Gauntlet. It's painted well, it's got all the gems and everything in it, so that is really, really nice, not gonna lie. I wish it was removable and you could swap it with the 10 year anniversary updated one, and don't get me started with that, because that's just a thing in and of itself. However, we're sticking with just this build figure This was the first. It's the head, this thing is the purple grimace. He's, he's it's muddled, it's like, it's not a, it's not a appealing, uh, Thanos basically it's everything is is painted okay the body type is okay it's sculpted okay but it is definitely number eight now with my number seven mark it's quite the opposite of the Thanos while it is a cool looking figure it's actually kind of a boring figure and I really didn't need a new Sasquatch figure I'm very happy with the old Toy Biz one. This one kind of looks like a red beast over a Sasquatch. I think he's a little bit too hefty. Now he might look like this more in the comics and such nowadays, but I'm used to the old Alpha Flight, really lanky, actual Sasquatch looking look to this type of character. The paint is a little bit off, especially he just looks like he got a bad tan. He's got a farmer's tan going on. It really goes from dark to light. There's no fading, especially just right there in the bicep area. It It's it's an okay figure, it's just, it's boring. I'm not too fascinated by it, I'm not too, you know, jazzed about it. Nice heft to the figure, heavy, really, really nice. You're getting a bang for your buck. It's just a matter of, I didn't really need a new Sasquatch figure. So I'm looking at it in that sense of that, I have my old one and I still like my old Toy Biz one. So in order to really get on this list and make it all worthwhile, you have to outdo the old one, and I really think that that just did not happen execution-wise. The old one, Toy Biz, fantastic. The new one, a little bit too beefy, a little bit too stocky. I like the more lanky look. I like the more Sasquatchy look over, like I said, it's like a beast that's painted red as opposed to a different sort of character, and I think they nailed it the first time around toy biz wise so that's why he number seven good old concept art cull obsidian is number six on my list and there's a number of reasons why he's actually we're starting to get more into the the better of the build of figures already love the sculpt there is a ton of things going on for this character he's got a great silhouette so many different things, armor-wise, sculpt-wise. He's got claws, nails, all these great spikes and stuff. The head sculpt is great. thing that kind of knocks it down, though, is that it is based on early concept art. He's missing a bunch of stuff that is very important to the actual movie that we saw with Infinity War. I absolutely love his back. I love that vertebrae and the spinal cord going down. I like the little parts that are sticking out, the scales, the bumps, everything. His armor piece. I love the hammer. I love they included it. It's a little light, you know, but it works because if you're going to have a character hold something, you don't want it to be too heavy. This is the perfect example of, I think, Thanos and Cull Obsidian just getting early concept art, Hasbro having to go with it because they need to get the figures out for us 
but that's why he just kind of drops down. And he's not a bad figure at all. It took me the longest out of everything to build this guy, but he's a solid number six, and I do like him. Number five on the list is Dr. Kurt Connors himself. Poor guy, he was just trying to regrow a limb and ended up turning himself into the lizard. Now you're probably saying, well, what's wrong with this figure? What's so bad about him? There's actually not much bad. There's actually a lot more good to him than bad. However, let's get into it just aesthetically wise. He doesn't stand very well. That's, that's a major, major thing. I also got another qualm. I'll get to that in just a second. Let's get to what I do like. This coat is gorgeous. Love the wrinkles. Love the tatters. Love the brown, the sewer water, all that kind of stuff. And I actually am a big fan of the lizard tail. I thought it was cool. I thought it was segmented well and everything. I like the tongue. I like the claws, the rips, the tears in the shirt, all that great stuff. Here's my biggest gripe with this figure. And, you know, it's, it's not so much just the standing and all that kind of stuff. It's the head. The head, as you can see, now see from a side angle, it's not so much a lizard as he is a dinosaur. I think that's a very velociraptor head, and I'm not too used to that kind of stuff. I know there's been different iterations of him lately in the comics, but I just think they missed the mark with it being a lizard, quote unquote, as opposed to a dinosaur head. And all I see is a velociraptor, I see Jurassic Park, all that kind of stuff. I do love the tongue, I love the tatters, and one other thing that would have just set it above everything else if he had a Dr. Kurt Connors name tag right on the little pal, which I still need to make and put it on there myself. But if he would have had that, man, I think I would have been able to overlook a couple of the other things, especially the face, because that would have just been above and beyond, and I really think that that would have been a really cool old school toy biz move. So Hasbro, just telling you, it's a little bit loose, the legs, all that good stuff. Just think about certain things. You nailed it with the jacket, but if you want to go a little bit further next time, just a couple things here and there. I definitely still like this figure. And at the number four spot, we got Oscar Isaacs himself. Just kidding. It's Apocalypse. That's just really all I see now every time somebody mentions Apocalypse. Thank you very much for that x-men movie but what's really good here is actually this build a figure this was part of the x-men wave of this year and he's looking really rad there's a lot of great things about this figure i love the head sculpt i love they give him that evil just thing but here's a couple qualms right here is that he <laughs> i wasn't even planning this the arms tend to fall off and that little collar around his neck now i'm willing to overlook it because he actually is a really nice build a figure however you're trying to pose him or do whatever, just anticipate something like that may occur. Now, I went into this thinking that this guy was going to be a little bit taller. I'm used to Apocalypse being taller. He's got nice straps, nice sculpt, nice boots, all that great stuff. And I especially love that they included the wires on the back. I'm a big fan of characters with wires. I don't know what it is, but it's just it's very fun to draw and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm definitely digging that. But... Back to what I was saying initially, I like this Apocalypse figure, but for me, you're never going to beat this guy. And scale-wise, I mean, we all know we don't have to beat a dead horse on this, but this is what Build-A-Figures used to be. I know it ain't the same anymore, and it never will be again. However, this is what I grew up with. This is what I'm used to. I still love my original Apocalypse. So for this one to be so high on the list... I actually do like him. I like that he's in the 6-inch scale. I like that he's a little bit better suited for, you know, your 6-inch figures. But still, nothing will top this guy. That's all I'm saying. Numero Trace on my list is the Monster Venom. And this was the Build-A-Figure for the awesome Venom wave that just so happened to coincide with a certain movie starring Tom Hardy. I absolutely Love this Venom. This is not Eddie Brock. This is the Mac Gargan Venom. You can tell by the spider on his chest. Love the mouth. Love all that stuff. He just looks like he's mad, angry. He's vicious. He's just snarly. Man, I, I love the head. You can twist it every which way. It's very, very cool. It's that tongue, though, that I think sells it the most for me. I love these little symbiote squiggly pieces coming off the back. The spider is painted beautifully. Great paint, and I especially love the purple, just reflective chrome, whatever you want to call that paint. It looks amazing. It makes the figure pop. 
This would have been higher on my list had it been more of the Eddie Brock type Venom, but I can't complain because I still love him. I still think he's one of the best Venoms that has ever been made. He's top on my Venom shelf. I will have another Venom that might make another list, just saying for this year, but you can't go wrong. This is a great monster Venom. And at the number two spot, we have Dr. Carl Lycos, a.k.a. Sauron. And I got to tell you, Hasbro, I really like that you put Dr. Carl Lycos as the Build-A-Figure name over Sauron. I don't know why. I just I thought that was really cool, the way you guys did that. But this figure is gorgeous. They took a pre-existing mold. They redid it. They painted it. They added all these amazing wings and tatters and claws and all this great stuff. They put this amazing articulated head, the jaw moves, all that great stuff. This thing is amazing. It is a fantastic Build-A-Figure. The wingspan alone is enormous. This reminds me of what old Build-A-Figures were, especially for the Toy Biz days. So it was really nice. It was like a blast from the past. I'm not going to lie. I saw this thing and I was like, you know what? I hope it looks as good as it does in the promo pics that we got. I mean, look at this jaw. He's got articulated tongue. Everything is painted beautifully on this figure. The red eyes, the teeth. Love the tail in the back. It's articulated. It definitely helps him in standing. A couple things with the wings. Sometimes they split and stuff like that. But totally, totally overlook it. You get him into a pose. You get the bat wing. One thing I would have really liked if you could kind of wrap the wings around him. But that's just nitpicking at that point. This is definitely the number two spot. It's amazing. So that, of course, leaves us with the number one spot, the SPDR Build-A-Figure Robot. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. When I first saw that they were announcing this as one of the Build-A-Figures for the Spider-Man wave, I was like, what the heck is that? After doing some research, including a Holy Heck video, I came to really dig the character. One of my favorite iterations of Spider-Man is the old Japanese television so so it really it hits that really nostalgic spot for me I'm really big fan of robots I really like different iterations of comic book characters to have a really cool mechanized spider-man I mean look at the detail on this thing from all the gizmos the wires the gears all that kind of stuff the paint it's fantastic this is a one-off sculpt they're not going to use this again and the fact that they did this really does blow my mind I absolutely Love this figure. I think it jumped straight out of the comic book. I think they hit every major detail that is necessary for that thing. Minus having a little mini Penny Parker that you could use with this figure. Now, with the end of the Spider-Verse SPDR, you know, it comes with a Penny Parker and you can actually use it with either figure. And I have been displaying her that way and I think that's really great in that sense. Of course, she doesn't stand worth a dang but you know what I mean like that's just that's just how it goes and I and I and I really genuinely love both these figures like the the end of the spider-verse one is a little bit more it's a more kitty toy but I think it really fits if you wanted to have that really cool spider-verse shelf in your display collection and everything but this spdr robot it's everything I wanted I love it so that is going to do it for my list of the best build of figures of 2018 for Marvel Legends, all eight of them ranked all the way to number one with the SPDR build a figure taking the gold medal home. I genuinely liked a lot of the build a figures on this list. It was a very somewhat difficult list to make. I will say, but in the last three, we'll just say from Venom to Sauron to the SPDR, it's it's really they're all fantastic. So in that sense, it was kind of hard. It's just putting your own tastes and personal necessities forward and seeing what you really like but let me know do you agree with my list do you disagree you couldn't possibly disagree i would never think of such things anyways let me know what was your favorite build a figure for 2018 do you agree with my list do you disagree let's talk toys i'm gonna leave you guys with that make sure to hit the like button do all that great stuff if you'd like to follow me for more videos and that jazz Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, build some amazing Build-A-Figures. And when you do, let me know what you build. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.